Sorry, cold, like I said in the previous video, I think. Anyhow, Rami X back with another video. This is part 15, the What a Kikashian Guy Adopted Naruto. And if this isn't your first rodeo, then please consider hitting that like and subscribe button, commenting, and the sort. About 10 minutes after this upload, or once you finish watching this video, you can go down in the description below. Or if you don't want to finish the video, you can do it first. If you have the app, or if you have it downloaded on your computer, this wonderful thing called Discord, you can go on there, and this Discord I'm in called the Holy Trinity is a Discord where you can promote your YouTube channel, and it's three YouTubers Discord, the Masked Man, Anime X, and this guy called Tyler, and it's just to spread your channel's content because... Because of the whole COPPA thing and stuff like that. Anyhow, let me get into this now. Sorry for the one minute ish intro. We left off with Obito creating a wood clone and putting kunais to Hinata and Sasuke's throat. And Naruto, through his vulnerability to do anything, awakened his Mangekyo or Mangekyo, however you say it, doesn't really matter, but he awakened his Mangekyo. Sharingan and said Azur flames burning Obito because he didn't expect it. Also, Azur just means blue in like Japanese, so or it might be Cantonese, which is which is also Chinese, but either way, Azur is just blue, so pretty much like blue flames. So he then said Azur flames burning Obito because he didn't expect it and killing him. But Obito then used Izanagi coming back to life, pinning Naruto back to his stand, and Naruto said. I'm done. As he activated his rest, Sudasano. That broke the bindings, but he then used stronger bindings on Naruto, and they were still able to sap Kirma's chakra. So basically, what happened is he still has this huge Sudasano around him, but they're still just grabbing all that Kirma chakra and sealing him. But eventually, he knew that the seal was going to unravel and he would die. So Naruto, thinking about it, then said, Sasuke, Hinata, no, all of you, I love you so much, and I wish this wasn't where my journey ended, because I haven't even become Okage yet. Activating the little amount of enraged Nine Tails Chakra, falling to the ground, as Pain said, now I shall seal him back into the Shibaku Tensei. And seal the nine tails later. Grabbing a chakra rod from his sleeve and about to stab Naruto in the back with it, but Sasuke then activated his Mangekyu Sharingan and saying, Get back, you bastard, burning Obito in pain, but this time he calmly waited away, falling to the ground and saying, Naruto, please. Please don't die! As Hinata broke out of her bindings doing the same. And Naruto was then brought upon Kirima. Doing the same thing as Sasuke pleading for Naruto to be alive. Or pleading for Naruto to stay with them. Naruto was then brought upon Kirima in a subconscious. As they said, I guess this is the end. But he bumping fist as Minato appeared. Making amends with Kirima. And releasing the seal. Or, sorry, resealing the seal. Kirma thanked him and Naruto as well, talking to Naruto and leaving, moving on back to the land of the dead. Well, it would kind of be the land of the dead because, you know, the whole thing of him using Reaper Death Seal, so it's like the land of the. I don't even know if it's a land because only like five people have done it, something around that number, in between that number probably. But it would be, he would be going back to the belly of the Reaper, not the land of the dead. But I guess we could call it the land of the dead because he is dead. Anyhow, Naruto then fully awoken from his, I guess we could call it sleep, but he was in a different place. Sasuke was then stabbed by a chakra rod from Naruto and he was dying because. Nagato was funneling the powers of the Prada path, draining and killing him at a rapid rate. And he was in the same place, talking to the same guy, but they weren't together. This was Hagaroma, Otsutsutsuki. He then told them everything, the cycle of hatred, Kaguya, the battle between Hamira and him versus Kaguya, 
Indra, the Indra and Ashura reincarnation, and finally giving them their sixth pass chakra, recovering from their torment, saying, where the hell do you think you're going? Only Naruto is saying this because Sasuke is still just on the ground, picture remembering everything and, like, I guess you could say feeling out his new power as he's going to pretty much let Naruto finish the fight. Where the hell do you think you're going, Obito and Nagato? I said when this battle started that I would be Hokage, and I can't do that when people are in my way, sticking out both of his hands, saying, Nagato, I know you will accept your fate. I saw it in your eyes. I actually know. When we started this battle, I could sense it. You were being manipulated by Obito. You thought you had the same ideals, but you really didn't. But you... Oh, I'll show you what strength is. And he's talking to Obito. Activating his full power and entering his most powerful state. Saying, You need... No. You need more than death. I won't kill you. Because I know you don't want to die. And there's good within you. I can sense it. But Nagato's okay with his fate. So he will die. And you will live. And I will change you, I swear. Reaching his most powerful state. Going into GCM, KCM2, MCM, Sage Mode, and Susano. Sending a tail beast bomb at them as he held out his two to both of his hands. He then launched it and blitzed Obito, saying, I won't kill you. No. I already said that. Activating his five-pronged seal, sealing his eye for the moment and stabbing him, but Obito moved, making it go through his heart, destroying his cursed seal that was placed by Mother, and took him back to the leaf. So they pretty much just took him back to the leaf, pretty much took Nagato's Renegon, and uh, skedaddled. <sighs> Naruto then visited Obito and Kakashi did as well. Kakashi to catch up and stuff and to atone, I guess you could say, with Obito and tell him the full story and everything that happened. And Naruto tells him that he wants to give him the role of Hokage before he does or before he becomes Hokage because he knows that it was his dream. Anyhow, he then visited Sasuke, telling him to swap out his Sharingan with Itachi, which he did, and they both had awakened the Eternal Monkey Q Sharingan, and Naruto basically cured Hiruma of his illness, or sorry, not Hiruma, Itachi, so what I was gonna do with this is make Naruto be against Tsunade, but that would have had to been in, like, probably, like, eight parts ago, and uh, I just didn't have time to do that, you know? Yeah, I just couldn't... Anyway, Naruto's so, Kirama also forced Naruto's Sharingan into its Eternal Magi Q Sharingan form by putting a small amount of chakra that would take away the blindness, giving them all, even Kakashi EMS. He just traded with Obito. Anyhow, this was, he would just put the chakra into the people of Naruto's eye and would regenerate it even before it happened. It would just be a stable thing, so it would just be like him having EMS and everybody gets EMS. He, like I said, even Kakashi, because they just traded eyes, him and Obito, and yeah. Also, this was, well, not also, anyhow, this was part 15 of the What a Kakashi and Guy Does in Naruto. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Rami X, not out actually yet. I just wanted to say the like on this video will be 12 likes because the last one is a finale. Rami X, out.